This tutorial will show parents how to create an account for the first time for their district's portal. The parent needs to get the URL for the parent portal, which is https colon forward slash forward slash parentportal.eschooldata.com. If they already have an account, they can use their username and password and log in. If they're creating an account for the first time, they have to click on this underlined here text, and it will bring you them to a window that says account information. Once they start typing in the name of the district, it will appear, and they can choose it. And then what they will have to do is create a username, and they will have to put in their email address, and then verify or confirm their email address, and create a password, and confirm the password. The email address and the username is limited to 50 characters each. The passwords must be at least six characters and contain at least one number. The authentication question is the next area that has to be completed. They would choose one of of the questions from the drop down and then enter the authentication answer. Once they do that, they can click on create account information and it will bring them to the next window that they need to complete, which is the personal information window. They can put in their information. Anything with an asterisk is required. And they would put in their phone number, their street address, and first and last name. Once they do that, they can click on this Create Personal Information button, and they can enter their student's ID. What they need to be aware of is there is an ID number that it contains nine digits. They can acquire this information from any report card or progress report mailing that they've received in the past. Then they would put their child's first name in, put their child's last name in, and they would select the school and the grade level, and then they would choose this add student to the above list and then finish registration. Once they do that, they will re receive a finished registration message, and it will automatically go to the administrator's pending account for them to review to either approve it or deny it. After the administrator approves or deny the account, an automatic email upon that action will be received by the parent. If the account has been approved, an email will come to the parent with a link in order to activate the account. Once the parent signs on for the first time, they will have to agree to the terms that the district has agreed upon. Then a parent should click on their child's name to access the information. And I will show you how the parent, what the parent sees once they click on, they have an active account. When a parent first signs on, after they activate their account, they will see the district logo, they will see any announcements that the district has posted, they will see any files that the district has posted, perhaps an emergency contact form for the convenience of the parent. If any information changes, they can download the file, fill it out, and return it to the district. These are the children that the parent is, are associated with through the correspondence area or the guardian area of the household. And what they can do is they can click on their child's name, and then they can navigate to the windows that they want to view. If the parent so chooses, they can go to the My Account area of their account, and they can change their password, they can change their username, or their email address. If the district allows parents to request changes in their demographics, they can click on this Personal Information tab, and they have the ability to change their salutation, their first name, their last name, their gender, their education level, they can choose their phone numbers or add phone numbers. They can change their email address or add emails. And then they click on this update personal information 
button and the district will have to approve or ignore their requests. The environmental settings tab will only appear if the district allows it. And what they can do is they can click on this tab and they can opt out of printed mailings or they can choose to just see the report cards, progress reports and transcripts online. This concludes how to create a parent portal account.